Hello Cancer and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of November 11th through the 17th. I want to mention that my monthly discounted December readings are up on my website to order by Monday because I do need a count. They'll be delivered by the end of the month though. There are timed readings so I do need a count. Um, so if you're interested, the link to my website is below this video. Let's get into your reading. Wow, Cancer. Remember, it's a general reading. So I pick up the energies, what's mostly coming through. And I try to explain it in different ways too because so many of you are out there, Cancers. Um, it's like the bottom is usually the home foundation, the heart of the matter. There's a purging, purging, definitely purging. Um, this could be from throwing out things that have been old, like maybe clothes, um, uh, rearranging things around the house, um, just purging. But also just getting rid of what does not no longer serve a purpose to you. So I see a lot of like purging. It all kind of went there. Another way I can look at this is you, some of you are just letting go of some of your burdens. You are really trying to coexist with others, happy, trying to stay happy, trying to stay positive. So I'm seeing that energy too. So this can also indicate a lot of changes at home. Um, this is like purging, clearing. Um, this is also, it's it's good. It's a good energy, but it's a lot of um, um, things just, you know, activity. And it could be also um, creating some lifestyle changes, things like that coming through too. So I see a lot of that energy. This is, um, oh yeah, you're holding a sword too. It's like you're kind of really standing your ground. Um taking things under control. So I'm seeing that energy coming up for a lot of you as well. There's a lot of things that could be rushing in, a lot of news, a lot of, um, man, a lot going on. Okay. That's a birth of something new too. So I do see that. Um, I do see you definitely making some kind of choice moving forward. I do see um, overall, it's like coexisting with others, trying to keep the peace. For some of you, I see you winning somehow, success. I even see happiness and laughter. Um, for some of you, you are really, really strongly trying to stay as positive, as happy as you can. So I am seeing that energy. I do see making, um, moving forward. You definitely got this ambition to move forward. Um, I do see, it's like you're holding the, you're holding like the world in your hand. You have a lot of goals, plans, ambitions too. So you're kind of thinking in the future too. Something significant will be rushing in for some of you. This could be news and um, and I think it's good. It could be very good news. It could be a win, a success, something unexpected is possible. I also see you need to kind of slow it down. It could be a very fast, um, high energy week too. So kind of slow down, you know, so you don't trip over yourself. Having a strategy and a plan, okay, is very important. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, definitely always keep dreaming, keep wishing, um, keep planning. People, some people say, oh, plans don't work out. Uh, God laughs at our plans. Well, you need a plan. Okay. But be always ready to readjust. So have a plan A, B, C. So strategy, uh, you know, prioritize, have a plan, but never give up on your dreaming, your wishing, your planning, because the power in that is really, there's no measure to it. Okay. So that's one thing I'm seeing that. And I'm going to say that even there. The thing is, um, it's like everything's planned. It's like a architect has its blueprint, a founda foundation for a building and a house. And then when they start building, they're like, okay, we need to make this adjustment or maybe this doesn't work. But it doesn't mean to give up on anything, okay? So that's one thing I'm seeing. Strategy, a plan is coming into focus here. I do see for a lot of you, um, things just may work out unexpectedly. It's like unexpected, um, just things just work out. It just goes your way unexpectedly. Um, this is also a success winning um, situation. Very nice. Okay. So it's, it's like a victory. And I see like beautiful sunny energy. So it's like the birth of something new. Um, maybe a surprise win. It's like a win out loud. So for some of you, it's good. And then I see it's like you're taking a, ra a rest. It's like after battle, after victory. Uh, victory after battle. And it's like, or, you know, you're like, oh, you could take a breather. I do see some... A lot of masculine energy. A lot of you may be dealing with men this week um, or a men in your life, but it's good. Someone may give, this could be a, a man maybe give um, uh, an offer. This could be a job offer or something maybe offered to you. This could be also 
connected to an earth sign energy too, from what I'm seeing or exhibiting those energies. I see also this, a lot of you could be dealing with property, um, inheritance, somehow gaining money through sometimes or long-term investments. Okay. For some of you, family is coming into focus too, and this could be family traditions, um, things like that, um, maybe history or something passed on. It's like talked about either it's money, inheritance or something. Something's connected there, okay? Um, I do see a rebirthing. You may have some really great ideas in that, and you may be just thinking about it. Your wisdom and your intuition is very powerful. Know that. You are trying to gain your balance here. I do like that. I do see someone coming in offering some kind of assistance and help. You also could be giving out very good advice. People um, may be inspired by you. It's like you're everybody's therapist in a way. I'm seeing that energy too. Um, I do see you have the strength to get through anything this week. Very strong energy. Okay, so I do see that. And a lot of uh, thoughts on your mind too. Okay, so I see uh, um, that happening too. Again, for some of you, this could be a family celebration. Um I see family or people that are close to you. Very nice energy, happiness. Um, maybe this is a family get together, but everybody's really happy. I do st still see you kind of reviewing some things from the past, what worked, what didn't, and moving forward. I do see very creative energy coming through and communication is very strongly indicated here. Now, communication, um, this for, could be for some that are single. This could be dating, bonding for people who are already in relationship. This is great communications. Very nice. Um, it's almost like soulmate. It's like intimate. Very nice. But do take some breaks. Do rest. You need to rejuvenate. Um, that's where you're going to uh, bring in more ease uh, when you're rested. Okay? Like meditation. You need some kind of rejuvenation as well. So I'm seeing um, that energy coming through too. You could be a little bit frustrated this week too because it seems like the week is very fast ongoing. Things rushing in. So just be careful of that. Don't do anything that you don't want to do or don't overextend anything or do overdo anything either. So that's another thing I'm seeing too. So you're only human. You can only do so much. Okay. Now on the plate. This is like purging. Like I said, it's almost nothing, but there's a few messages. Um, this can also indicate a full moon. It could be very important. You could be very intuitive at the time, getting some kind of intuitive messages a lot of you are still dwelling very strongly into spirituality, but keep things more to yourself, which is really good. You have the power of manifestation, I'm telling you. So you can manifest the good and bad, so be careful what you do. Keep things positive. I do see you're almost completing something, okay? And you're a little bit overwhelmed. Again, keep your wishes and your plans. Uh, keep planning, dreaming, all of that, because the power of it, I'm telling you, it's immeasurable, Okay. Um, I do see something coming to a cycle. It's like um, things that you did maybe 12 months ago, um, a year ago. Um, you're going to see the, it's like you reaped what you sowed. It's like good karma coming back for most of you. Well, that's what I see mostly, okay? Manifesting the endeavors. You're going to see things starting to blossom, okay? So it's like really good energy or some of you may just be celebrating something that's uh it's, it's annual it could be a family celebration or something because i do see something coming in too and it's not showing up exactly what but i do see you know if you need to make a choice or something think before don't make uh quick decisions uh call up uh ask for spiritual help to give you some kind of balance and try to like balance things out before you make a choice or decision or anything too. So it's like balance is required as well. So kind of balance the energies. That means don't overwork either. Uh, try to balance things as much as you can. But I do see um, you're just like harvesting things. Things coming to a fruition. Closing of some kind of cycle. So that's really good too. Okay. Just be careful of what you disclose to others. Because there is some jealousy around too. So kind of like, mm, you know what I mean? Well, that's about it. Now, Cancer... Um, again, if you would like a December monthly discounted reading for the month of December, that's available on my website till Monday. Um, otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week. This is a reading for the week of November 11th through the 17th. And yeah, and catch you back next week for your next Coffee Cup reading. Until then, I'll, I think, 
I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah, all the best. And, you know, again, when the full moon comes, it's a moon. You can bring a lot of things to fruition. And go review some of your wishes from a year ago or maybe even two to three years ago. You're going to see how many things actually did come true. We don't even realize that. That's another thing I just saw. Yeah. Okay. Um, talk to you next week. Have a great week. Bye for now.